Okay, so for today's lab, we're doing the molar mass of butane. Now for the molar mass of butane, we need a few materials. We need a lighter, which is dry, and we have already masked, which you'll see the initial masses for the three runs as images in your file. We need a graduated cylinder. We need a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, which I have here. Now I've taken the bottom off it, and you'll see why in a second. We also need a tank of water and a thermometer so that we can get the temperature for the tank of water. So I've got my digital thermometer here and I would just put it in and I would read the temperature for my water, which right now it's saying roughly 27 degrees. Okay? So it's nice and comfortable. Now to do this lab, we're going to do something that you probably did as a kid one time. We're going to submerge our graduated cylinder. And our graduated cylinder is going to lose all of its air and then it's going to be completely filled with water. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to use this to put water in, or put butane from the container inside the lighter into the graduate cylinder. So as long as I don't bring this the bottom of my graduated cylinder, the mouth of my graduate cylinder above the level of the water, the water is going to stay in here. If I pull it too high, all my water spills out. So doing the experiment, you got to be careful and submerge it completely and then keep it there. Then we put our lighter underneath, we depress the release valve, and we let the bubbles collect inside the graduate cylinder. That allows us to know how much volume of gas we've collected. Now for the experiment, I collected 100 milliliters in each run. So I'm not gonna do that the entire, the entire thing because obviously it takes a little while to do it. But you can gather the general idea of what happens in the experiment. Now, above the water here, we've captured butane gas. But we haven't just captured butane gas. As you've read in your book, a fluid that has a concealed vol or sorry, not concealed, but closed volume above it is going to develop a vapor pressure for the liquid. So we need to account for the vapor pressure of water, how much water vapor is in here. That's dependent on the temperature of the water. That's why you have the vapor pressure table in your lab. You're gonna take the temperature of the water to determine the vapor pressure of the water above the, but above the water in the butane, and then subtract that, right? Subtract that from the pressure you get to get the pressure of the butane, all right? So that's how you do the lab on molar mass of water or molar mass butane.